So I'm on the hunt now for uh, cat number 22. It's uh, just at the other side of the uh, Yorkshire yeah, Minster. And it's literally on its own. Once I've seen this one, then I have to kind of uh, go back into the centre and go to the other side of the town to go and find uh, the remaining three. Oh, there it is. Cat number 22. It's like a cool shop, selling uh, like kind of uh, rock and pop memorabilia. And I guess it's a good idea to have a, a cat, uh, one of the cats, put above your shops because uh, it gets people, uh, gets people to it, doesn't it? It's only just out of the city centre, this uh, this street, but you can see how uh, much quieter it is. So basically, that was uh, cat number twenty-two which is at the, uh, near the Bootham Bar. There's a very angry homeless guy down there. He seems to be shouting at just about everyone who walks past him. And uh, basically to get to number 23, I've walked past the uh, York Minster on my left and just basically just keep going straight for about 10 minutes, I think. So I'm going to be walking through a lot of the places that I've already uh, been to. But, uh, it would be foolish to end the trail now without seeing the last three, so cat number 22, here we come. Now this place coming up. Oh man, you should smell it right here right now. Look at this. Yeah, because there's the beach you went to sleep. Yorkshire pudding map. This is where I rate my takeaway came in his one of his recent videos. He had one of these Yorkshire pudding map. Giant Yorkshire pudding map with your choice of succulent roast meat, roast vegetables, stuffing, gravy and sauce. For that one for me, I think. What kind of walk around? So now we're at the top of the uh, famous historical shambles. <laughs> you can see it's very tall, isn't it? Look at these buildings. couple of stories about the uh, Shambon buildings is that the reason why the houses kind of get bigger as you get to the top was because uh, they paid tax on the uh, land from the ground that they took so the houses get wider at the top and uh, people used to be able to hold hands they used to, be able to lean across and hold hands from one house to the next and back in the day these uh, these are mainly the uh, butchers' shops and the uh, the fronts used to be open, so people used to just buy meat from the uh, from the windows, and this like kind of ledge used to protect the raw meat from the sun. The history of the shambles here. Queues for miles for I think that's like a Harry Potter themed um, cafe. They do frog uccinos and things like that. Um, I'm not sure why what the Harry Potter thing is with York. Um, people come from all over the world, Harry Potter fans, to uh, visit York and um, I think some of them think that some of Harry Potter was filmed here, which it wasn't. And um, some people then claim that, uh, that JK Rowling was inspired by the shambles uh, when she was writing Harry Potter. Um, but she did say that she'd never actually been to uh, York before she wrote it. So that's nonsense anyway, but don't tell anyone. Because I'm sure the uh, businesses of York want to keep people believing that Harry Potter was either A, filmed here, or B, inspired by the shambles. 
I'm gonna get out of this one. That's the difference there, uh, you've got a carried trotter full pork. <laughs> Seven quid. <laughs> You'll get something much better around the corner for about two fifty. Wow, Polish restaurant. Let's have a look. Yeah, we've got that in there. See if any of my Polish friends recognise some of these dishes. Zabijaniak. Bigos and all that. Fresh Scottish mussels. Authentic Polish dish. Let's see Galonka. So I thought to myself, I'll just take a look, see whereabouts on the map I am. And just as I had a look, I was right stood outside it. So there's number 23. At the Chicken Dot restaurant, Longgate Ale House. Cat number 23, just there. I do believe that cat number 24 is just down here. Oh, memories. So cat number 24, they said was a place called uh, Waltham Bar. And I was thinking it was a bar, a pub. But it's not, it's one of these uh, kind of uh, bars on the uh, city walls, which was here earlier. One gate, if not welcome. And there it is. Cat number 24. I didn't notice that earlier. That would have saved me a 15 minute walk. Right, one more to do. One more to find and then I'm done. So cat 25 might be difficult to find. Got to walk up a navigation node past Speculation Street um, but yeah so cat number 25 apparently is on a pub that no longer exists so uh, that should be interesting but it is the last one so let's see how we get on well they don't live next to them I wonder how many people have actually bothered to go looking for cats 22 to 25 I bet most people we do the walk, just stick to the ones in the uh, centre rather than, you know, coming right outside the centre into the uh, residential parts of the oak. Well, I don't know what Google Maps was talking about because uh, the black swan clearly does exist. So somewhere on here, there will be the last of the 25 cats, and I've spotted it. There it is. Probably about as close as I could get to any of them. So there we are. The cat trail of York, done, all 25 of them. And I managed to spot every single one. I'm quite chuffed with that. Yeah, good kid. Now, there's a couple more things that I want to go and have a look at. And then, look what time it is. It's quarter past two. My train's not for another four hours. <laughs> um, I chose them times because it was either pay five pounds to get home on, on that one particular train, or pay 20 pounds on any of the others. So uh, it was a no-brainer. Find out where I am in relation to uh, the uh, other places that I want to go and have a look at. And then, I think it's pub time. I mean, what else is a fella to do? So there's another one of them yolk uh, bars of the city walls uh, that I've already been on earlier today. And if I'd have planned it a little bit better, I could have just nipped out from there to come and uh, see uh, what I'm about to go and look at now, if I can find it, because this has been uh, another trek. I think it's in it. B 
Olympic Turpin. The infamous highwayman. So instead of following his father into the butchering trade, he decided to become a highwayman and was a wanted man for a couple of years and then he came to York, changed his name and then got arrested um, because they found a letter that he'd wrote that he'd actually used his real name and uh, he was sentenced to death for stealing two horses Dick Turpin executed 1739 didn't even know it was him I guess it's not much of a tourist attraction. Not a great deal to look at. But if you're into that kind of thing, there's the uh, hop on, hop off bus going by. He's going to be telling them all about Dick Turpin now. Let's point it to them. Thank you, what about, oh, is that Luna? Now they're saying, oh, that's that guy from uh, YouTube. So the church is uh, on the other side of the road to the graveyard. So, uh, doesn't look open now. I might go and have a look, just, just in case. No, it's definitely not open. That's seen better days. Check this guy out. There's another one over here. Not even sure what this is. That's the Crown Court. I think this is the York Castle. Oh, that's the York Castle Museum. I don't know what this is then. Oh, I think that's also the York Castle Museum. It's not going to be free, is it? Pretty booking. And before I walk in here, I'm going to be very disappointed if I don't spot Bowie. There he is. Uh, do you take card? So yeah, yeah. You take card. Can I have the small fish and chips and wash your feet? Yeah. Cheers, man. There we go. Nice one, mate. Cheers. Can you put uh, salt and vinegar on before, please, awesome. yeah. and then fish on top? No problem. Lovely, that, mate. Scraps. I'm all right for scraps, mate. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. How long have you been here, man? Here, seven years. Seven years. Yeah, yeah. I know I've been into York before, but I've always just been in ones in, you know, tourist yeah, in yeah, centre yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had a look on the internet for best, you know, more local type ones, and this I one came up. Um, I went for the wards year after year. Really? Um, we've done really well, we've got a real good following as yeah, well, yeah. you know, and all these pictures of our customers with a fish <laughs> going aboard, <laughs> you know, they've eaten here and they go aboard, and when they're on holiday they take the fish, it's been everywhere in the world. Yeah, yeah. It's mad. 
Nice. We've got, we've got them there and then there, we've got two more upstairs. Do you get many like tourists coming in then? No, hundreds. Yeah. Hundreds, yeah. Oh, yeah right, when it's tourists. And sometimes in here on a, a Monday alone, right. we'll probably do about 300 just Chinese. Right, just Chinese. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. And then what happens is that so you get them and then you get the students coming in from 11 all the way through, and then you usually get a load of in between. Yeah, because you're just a little bit out of tourist a bit here, aren't you? So people yeah, come yeah. here, they must have done a bit of research that's and right. yeah, yeah. looked on like Google Maps or something like that. No way, that's what I did. But... I know, we have a huge, huge student following as well. Yeah. I mean, to the point we've even had music playing in here and yeah, all that, yeah, yeah. you know, it's crazy. Oh, nice one. Yeah, so, yeah, so we've got about 10 people in here at the moment. Yeah. And then we've got about 15 people coming in from Oban. Yeah. Gervin in Scotland. Oh right, yeah. yeah. I think it said Auburn because I've been up, been to Auburn like that. But... So that's where it all came from. So when I was 14, I used to have to cut the fish with my mum before I went to school. <laughs> Crazy. So you want salt, vinegar on the chips first? Yep, yeah, MPs. And then MPs and then the fish on top. And then I'll put some more on that. Yeah, brilliant. All the things I've got to do it in the morning, here, so. You want that? I've got to do it because we're not allowed to let people touch. Them. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. No worries. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy world, isn't it? Yeah. I didn't think I was going to get to be on this because uh, I came here and I was going to come for dinner. And then I was, I was just walking up and I looked on the thing, it said four o'clock opening. Oh, yeah. So I was yeah, like, oh, yeah. I'm not going to do it. So I ended yeah, up having more, something to eat in more, town. Like. Next week, from Tuesday to Saturday, it's back to 12 to 8. All right, yeah. Uh, you got like a uh, restaurant upstairs on you? Yeah? Sorry? Restaurant upstairs, sit yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Normally we have uh, tables down here as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Upstairs, you know. We don't sometimes sit about 40 and we'll put them outside. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes. But it's all good. I bet you're glad it's starting to open up again anyway. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I walked past one in uh, early on today in the centre. That, is it Mr Chippy, whatever oh, yeah. it's called? About seven pound, about eight, seven or eight quid for the same thing down oh, there, isn't it? It's crazy. How you doing, mate? Well, right. they, they used to own the one on the side, the hook and line. Right, get All this right. right. Salt vinegar. Salt and vinegar, then peas, yeah. yeah. And there's another one, isn't there? Is it Drake's? Yeah, yeah. Because they've got one in uh, Nairfer and all, I think. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Same place, yeah. So. so, what are they cooked in beef dripping? Beef dripping and vegetable fat for the chips. All oh, right, okay. Now the fish. Say again. Now the fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's brilliant. And uh, salt and vinegar on fish as well, mate. Oh, Cheers. Oh. That looks amazing. Oh, that's knife fork cutlery. Oh, that would be fantastic, that mate. Yeah. So knife. Any tartar sauce? No, nah, that's all good, that mate. Thank that you. Okay. That's perfect. And uh, where's the best place to go and sit outside? And is there uh, is a park or something? Over that way, or you can walk to just the end. You know where the library is? Yeah. So there's big seats out there. All right. Okay. So, and what's over, what's over that way? Just that... over there, it's just like the university seats. All right. Is it like open spaces? Yeah, yeah. Right, just yeah. Like, see there. Just which way? All right. Nice one. Because hey. if you go this side, it's a bit homeless. Right. Okay. So, yeah. 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 Best time there. Brilliant, right, that, mate. Good to meet you. Take you too. Care. Take care, man. Right then. Is it pretty good? I think, what was it? £5.70, I think you said it were. It's like a decent sized fish for a small. So let's check in. Good chips in the first. Nice chips. That's a real test of the seaside, that. Oh, it's a good choice. Well, I'm going to enjoy these now. So I guess uh, this is the end of my second York vlog. 
I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. I've had a fantastic day in York. It's a really great city to uh, visit uh, for all ages. Um, I highly recommend you do the City Walls walk. And uh, yeah, definitely do the Cat Trail, because as I said earlier, it will get you uh, about the city uh, and into places that you might not have otherwise discovered. So uh, decided to end it on a carousel. And uh, after this, I'm going to go and have a, a few beers. So I hope you enjoyed the videos and I'll see you on the next one.